A developing story at the southern border where the tragic drowning of a migrant woman and two children is fueling the latest feud between the Biden administration and Texas officials. NBC's Morgan Jeske has more on the fallout and a deadline that is fast approaching. Tragedy on the Rio Grande escalating a border battle between the Biden administration and Texas. Centered around federal authorities' access to the border. The Department of Homeland Security issuing a letter to the state's attorney general demanding Texas immediately cease and desist any actions that block Border Patrol's full access to the U.S.-Mexico border in and around the Shelby Park area. That Eagle Pass Park near where a migrant woman and two children drowned late Friday. The rescue response highly disputed. The White House stating Texas officials blocked U.S. Border Patrol from attempting to save the migrants. Texas authorities calling that wholly inaccurate. Sharing by the time Border Patrol requested access, Mexican authorities were already recovering the bodies. It's devastating to imagine that uh, state officials would know that people were drowning in the river, particularly children, and block Border Patrol from going and saving them. Just hours before the drownings, the state's governor defending its border presence. Texas has uh, the legal authority uh, to, to control ingress and egress into any geographic location in the state of Texas. Back in Eagle Pass, 700 white crosses, marking the estimated migrant deaths over the last year. That was Morgan Chesky reporting. The Department of Homeland Security has given officials in Texas until tomorrow to stop blocking Border Patrol or they will refer the matter to the Department of Justice.